Joining me on the show, we have Syed Asad Abbas, political analyst. Uh, Syed Abbas, the point here is that if you field the son-in-law, then certainly the charge that will come from likes of Mohan Krishna and the entire BJP would be uh, dynastic politics. Well, that would raise a lot of questions upon the BJP. I would set the mirror and reflect on them. Who is the current uh, BJP chief in Karnataka? It is Vijayendra, the son of Yadiyarappa. We can give you many, many such examples. I've always believed, Mariaji, with great power, there's great responsibility and equal accountability. Well, yes, the Congress is doing everything in its might and possible. Mr. Bhairati Suresh, a very able minister under the government and leadership of Sri Siddharamayaji and also Sri D.K. Shivkumar, has been given the task to set things right. But let me tell you, during elections, this is bound to be in every party be the Congress, JDS, or even the BJP. As a matter of fact, in the last elections, I can tell you, in the office of Mr. Yadiyarappa, there were seats broken by BJP workers and karyakartas. Not just that. Mr. Mohan Krishna is here, and I will tell you, I have reports of Mr. Ishwarappa. Ishwarappa, a very tall leader of the BJP, who said, this BJP of Karnataka under Yadiyarappa has become like the Congress Parivarvad, where only... Yadiyarappa's sons Raghavendra and Vijayendra are given all the rights and remains and they should not be allowed to contest the seat from Shivamoga. In fact, he wanted to contest from there. Not just that. Even when Yaduvir was given the prince of Mysore, was given the ticket from Mysore. Okay, Mr. Mr. Mohan Krishna, you know, it's a bit too rich uh, coming from you, sir. Haven't you heard from your own leader, Mr. Ishwarappa? He's called the Yadiyarappa's party as a Parivarivad party. Be it B.Y. Vajravendra or Raghavendra. So that is okay with you, sir. Two wrongs don't make a right, sir. If you're calling Congress wrong, you are also wrong in giving Raghavendra a ticket. Don't can you I feel just, ashamed of that? Just get, can, sir, can please look into your own party. Also, as a matter of fact, Maria can you? No, no, no. Don't, don't interfere, I sir. I do not, yes, Mr. Mohan I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Let Abbas finish his point. Yes, go ahead. Allow Abbas. me to finish my point, sir. Ah. Thank you very much. Hmm. Respected, sir, as much as you may try, hmm. the people are not fools. The people of Karnataka have given the mandate to the Congress party. On NDTV, let me ask you, is the Operation Lotus on, like in Punjab, what you've done? Trying to poach up MLAs? Are you trying to do the same here? Let me ask you this question on NDTV. Also, as a matter of fact, the Congress is right now very comfortable in 135 no, no, MLAs. The guarantee has failed. You know what no, is, Maria? Not. When we were in power okay. in Karnataka... Okay, get okay quickly, we Abbas, respond we to that and then I bring in Amitabh and okay. give him the yeah. last word. Go we, ahead. Now, let's let's speak on facts, sir. You say, you say that the guarantees have failed. I challenge you on NDT, which guarantee has failed? Guruha Lakshmi, Guruha Jyoti, Yuvan Nidhi, Anna Bhagya, Saki, all of them Everything are working, sir. Failed. You are... Everything no, 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 you're not... No, that's you're more talking. rhetorical, Mr. Mohan Krishna. Let, let him finish his point. Allow yes. me to finish. Yes. Thank you, sir. Mohan Anna... Namaskara, sir. Dhanyavad, Galu. Yes. Now, coming straight to the point, Maria, let me tell you, all the schemes have been working. Hmm. There have been fantastic pro-incumbency in the last one year. Beat Anabhagya scheme, beat Mahila Sakya scheme, Gruha Jyoti, Gruha Lakshmi, hmm. Yuvan Nidhi, all of them have been working. This has rattled the Bharatiya Janta Party, which made Karnataka a communal laboratory. Sir, okay. you Hindu-Muslim...